Gulf Coast University is located in the heart of sunny Southwest Florida, Fort Myers, one of the fastest growing areas in the state, offering cultural and professional sporting events and some very beautiful beaches. Hey, just catching some rays on FGCU's man-made beach. So the city of Fort Myers is a lot calmer than the lifestyle in Miami. Um, it's really great to kind of be here and like take it easy. Um, I don't have to worry so much about like traffic or anything like that. Um, and also living here, we have a lot of different options of like what to do off campus. So we have two malls that are going to be really close by where we can like go to the movies, have dinner, and the beaches are really close by and they're so beautiful. So it's a really great place to check out. FGCU is an environmentally friendly campus that sits on 800 acres with 400 acres of living wetlands that serve as a living laboratory for students. A lot of really cool classes as a part of my major and one of them I'm taking right now which is um, an issues in science and technology course where we have a focus on permaculture and gardening. So I'm learning a lot of techniques about how to actually like work with the environment we have here and how to have like successful crops and other plants like that. FGCU has roughly 15,000 students enrolled with over 13,000 undergrads. Students of color represent 32% of the student population with 44% men to 56% women. And the fact that we've been so successful since 1997, we started with 2,700 students. We have just under 15,000 this year. So we have very, we've had a very managed, controlled and sustained growth, uh, adding more programs every year. So I think that really makes us unique. We have a desired uh, 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 academic profile, so if a student meets the academic profile and they apply on time, we're going to admit them, and that's a 3.0 weighted GPA and a 1060 uh, recentered SAT or a 21 uh, ACT composite. So if they reach those numbers, uh, then they're going to get admitted, as long as it's early. If they can get admitted by February 15th, that's fine. If it's after February 15th, even meeting those numbers is no guarantee of admission. Because I will tell you that I turn away qualified students every year. Students will pay about $12,000 a year in tuition, fees, and residence. And non-resident students will pay closer to $30,000. Florida Gulf Coast University offers 54 undergraduate and 23 graduate programs. Some favorites among students are management, biology, nursing, resort and hospitality, psychology, and communication. Is that we believe in learning 360 degrees not just book learning, or not just exam learning, or not just in a lab, but in the world and with each other. For me, for legal studies, it's definitely a good program that we have here at the university because we do have a ton of hands-on um, activities that we do. So we actually do like a crime scene um, on campus. That's pretty cool. That's one thing that I always like to talk about just because it's, it's very interactive with all the students for criminal justice, legal studies, forensics. We all kind of like get together and just work in this like crime scene that we have on campus. So it's pretty cool. The Professional Golf Management Program is one of only 18 schools accredited by the PGA of America and the only one of its kind in the state of Florida. The Lutgert College of Business is consistently named by the Princeton Review to the best 300 business schools. 80% of Florida Gulf Coast University faculty are full-time instructors. We enjoy teaching here. So we enjoy those students. We enjoy the questions they pose us. They make us better teachers. And, in, and as a result, they get the reward of getting a lot out of us that they might not get under just a standard classroom format. The Florida Gulf Coast University Eagles are members of the NCAA Division I and the Atlantic Sun Conference. FGCU has won a combined 53 conference regular season and tournament titles in only nine years in Division I as a member of the Atlantic Sun Conference and Coastal Collegiate Sports Association. Women swimming and diving. Um, crazy traditions. I wouldn't say it's crazy, but I do really like the fact that whenever we have games, we'll have our athletes drive in, drive all around the university in, a, in one of the golf carts and it's like, yo, there's a game tonight, yo! Yo, over there! Yo, there's a game tonight! So, I think that's probably really cool. I like seeing them do that, and then they'll always give out like free stuff, and all, so I think it's cool when they do that. <laughs> On-campus housing at FGCU is made up of three sections. South Village for first-year students, and North Lake Village that offers apartment-style housing. There's also West Lake Village, which is just for upperclassmen. 
FGCU has over 250 clubs and organizations to get involved in, including special interest, multicultural, service groups, Greek life, intramural sports, and watercraft activities. There is a celebration that we do every fall for new incoming students called Eagle Revolution, and that's like a big pep rally, welcome new students, um, whether you're freshman, transfer, I was a transfer junior coming in, so I didn't start here as a freshman. Yeah, I came in halfway, and I would say I've gotten the four years of college experience in the last two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us at FGCU. For University TV, I'm Chloe. Wings up, Eagles!